Hey everybody, it's Brad. Today I've got something new and exciting to show you. Floriani has just come out with a new software. Uh, it's called uh, Sketch a Stitch, and it's the neatest thing in the world. So, this this program is designed to be used with touch devices, like um, like a like a Windows PC that has a touch screen um, that can be used with a stylus, um, or you could use a drawing tablet or something like that. Now, that's not to say that you can't use it with a mouse, but you you lose some of the coolness factor of it if you do it with a mouse. So check this out. Uh, I'm going to just hit create a new design here. Um, and uh, what you'll see is we have a screen that looks familiar to those of us who have been using Floriani for a long time. Uh, but we've got this new weird blue dot in the corner. What is that? What this is, is it allows us to uh, touch. I'm using my, my touch pen, by the way. I went out, I liked the software so much, I went out and I bought a Surface Pro 6. Um, and uh, that's uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. It's it's pretty good uh, little computer for doing this kind of thing. Uh, but I'm going to move my styles. I'm using a pen, actually, as my mouse right now. I'm going to move my stylus over one of these. Look at this. This is where I can pick what brush I want to draw with. So we have all these different options. We can draw uh, a satin stitch with tapered ends. Look at this, where I draw a line, and it tapers out the ends for me like that. Um, and then we can adjust the width of it here. So this, this here is our width setting. So the narrower I make it, the narrower my tapered steel stitch, satin stitch is. So we have control over, um, you know, how thick our lines are when we when we draw. Super, super neat. And it just feels good to write on the screen and have it come up and it just be stitches. It's as simple as could be. I'm going to undo a couple times here. Um, so that's my tapered end. I've got uh, a calligraphy pen where it kind of like changes the thickness here. I'm going to make it thicker so you can see it's more pronounced. But look at that. See how the, the thickness varies depending on the angle? <laughs> That's just, it's really neat. We can do like little dipsy doodles and uh, it's, it's neat. Okay. So we've got, um, we got those. I just hit undo until it was a, went back to the beginning. Oh, and we've got, what's this, pressure sensitive. Now this one, depending on how hard I press with the stylus is how thick the line is. Isn't that cool? Yeah, they made a jumbled mess there. So I have just been having such a blast messing with these things. All right, so here's a steel. This is just going to be a regular um, flat-ended, meaning the um, the ends are totally flat. There's no taper uh, satin stitch. Um, what else we got? Applique. I think that's going to automatically close. Yeah, so that automatically closed the applique shape. So I can draw with appliques. You can actually, I saw in the preferences, there's a setting where you can have it not automatically close an applique shape. Fill stitch where, um, let's see if we draw... Yeah, automatically fills in an area with stitches. Totally, totally cool. Um, and the run stitches. Okay, so we've got a bean run and a regular run. So here we're just drawing, and it just draws a run stitch. Now, the cool thing about this is you can make anything with a fill stitch, a satin stitch, and a run stitch. You can make anything. So you have the ability to just draw your stitches straight onto the canvas. I mean, it, it, it's so crazy. Let me show you a couple of the things that um, that I have played with here. Um, I'm going to go and uh, just open a design. Uh, here we go. So here's, look at this. <laughs> I did me, right? Here, let me pull up the backdrop that I used for this. So the way I did this is I had... On my phone, I have an app that creates a sketch of a photo, right? So check this out. I'm going to get rid of the stitches so we can just see the photo. So this is a photo that I took, and then I converted converted it to a, a sketch with an app on my phone. Um, and uh, and then I just I just traced it with a running stitch. So let me turn the stitches back on. Um, yeah, but that's that's literally that's all I did was I just traced it with a run stitch. And I'm going to zoom in here on my face because you know what I didn't do? I never did anything on my mouth. So we'll go and get my run tool here, and we can go and try kind of like outline my mouth a little bit. And I'm just kind of shading it a little bit like that. And kind of go over it a couple times and see, 
see what we get. There we go, and then we're going to zoom out to fit. Turn off the backdrop there. It's me. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this software is just super, super fun to play with. So, um, I went ahead and uh, downloaded some different pictures. Let me um, let me just show you how easy this is. Um, all right, so I want to make a new page and uh, load a backdrop. Uh, here we'll do this ribbon. So. All right, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to use like kind of a, like a charcoal color to match the artwork down here. Um, I want that one. Okay, and I'm going to use, so up here, if you lose your little blue dot, you hit this icon, and then I tell it that I want to draw with the run, and I'm going to zoom in actually right here. All right, so get my run. Here we go. Just gonna do this shading, and I'm just I'm literally just sketching like I would if I was doing it with a pencil, All right? And then we can travel kind of over here and get this angle going, All right? Let me just fill it in, and then I can kind of go down here and get this. Just following the design. Now I'm going to do that part as a satin stitch later. So I'm going to travel back through here. And then I'm going to start doing this. Now it's a good idea to let off every now and again in case you make a mistake. Um, here, I'm going to put it in 3D so you can see. In case you make a mistake so that if I'm going like this and then I get out here and, oh, I didn't mean to go over there, I can hit undo and it'll just get rid of the section that I was just working on. Okay. And so anyway, I'm just going to... I'm just shading it in and then when I get to the bottom I'm gonna let up and move down with my arrow keys down here and you can see this black dot that's where I stopped so I just pick it right back up there we'll do some light shading there and I'm gonna come down here and we got some darker shading here and so on and it's just up to you you know how much detail you want to put in it and then so I'm not going to do this whole thing but say I wanted to have my outlines I can go and use my um, let's see I'll use the tapered steel and uh, we'll see we'll, we'll start with this right here and just kind of go up and around down to the knot okay so we've got that and then this is going to kind of come around and overlap that one now I needed to zoom out a little bit here because I didn't actually want to stop where I stopped there, but I just kind of got ahead of myself. So let's zoom out and we're going to undo that and start over. And I thought that this was going to be a lot harder than it actually ended up being. This actually is so, so easy to do this. I love it. Um, anyway, you, you get the idea here and here I'll, I'll open one that I uh, that I finished of this design uh, ribbon there we go so this is one that I did I did the entire thing of it just like just like I was just doing um, a minute ago uh, but uh, yeah this is a design this can be sewn out I drew it by hand <laughs> it's so cool I love it I love that it's so simple there's you know you just hit the button that you want you can choose the thickness of your line you can choose the density of your line um, so I could have like an open zigzag if I want um, like there so that's that's a much less dense um, steel stitch that I just put in there you see we get a little closer to it you can see how how low density that is so so awesome um, we do have the properties menu um, over here I can change after I've drawn something I can change the properties of it um, and uh, so, you know, we can go in and uh, change the width or the density um, after the fact. Uh, but, geez, just drawing with that running stitch like that, it's so, so cool. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to show you that this software exists. I'm going to do some uh, more videos and tutorials on it. But uh, here's the skinny. This software is $399. Um, and... Uh, 
yeah, it's cool. I have I have it in stock right now, actually. Um, but yeah, this is the coolest thing that I've seen in a while, and I am gonna be playing with this for some time. So uh, anyway, I hope you like this like sneak preview of the software. Um, I haven't seen anybody else really talking about it, um, so it is the neatest thing ever. And hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.